Hey everyone, today I am co-hosting a Dollar Tree Christmas decor challenge with my friend Inger from the Inger Chronicles. Anybody else who joins in on this collaboration will be added in the playlist below, but just Inger and I are the ones co-hosting it. Today we are doing a Christmas decor piece made just from pieces found at Dollar Tree. So what we found was beginning of October, uh, this year at Dollar Tree, they are selling snow globe pieces. So we decided to make snow globes with little wooden peg figurines in them and some other little doodads and bits that we picked up and little bobs to add to it just to make it personalized. And I'll just show you what we have purchased and what the girls do to make their individual snow globes. Here are the individual pieces that we picked out from Dollar Tree. Again, back in October and I know like normally that's super early to buy anything for Christmas but I figured, you know, go ahead and get them while they had them. And I actually haven't seen them since, but I know other stores do. So if you don't have a Dollar Tree, maybe you can be inspired to look for like these pieces because they have the rest of this. And they were supposed to, our store was supposed to restock these. So maybe like you can still find these and maybe order these off Amazon or something. But we found these and they're individual snow globe pieces. They actually have instructions in here on how to make a snow globe. So I may actually open that up and see what they recommend. But our goal was, we also found these little wooden peg pieces. And at the end of 2021, everything here individually packaged is a dollar each. Of course, you know, Dollar Tree just announced that everything's going up to a dollar and a quarter, or at least all of ours are. So it'll be, it may be a little bit more than that after this video. I don't know. But at the purchasing of this, all of this was a dollar each. But I wanted to make sure that we had enough for each of the girls to make their own custom one. So they can mix and match anything that they want. I did buy at least one bag of faux snow for each of them to use. But here are the little wooden peg pieces. These are the angel pieces. They have the little wings on them. These are just Christmas trees. And then we also have just little snowmen. And I thought that these would be fun pieces that they could all mix and match together. Again, they each have their own bag of faux snow. This is not the styrofoam snow you saw us do in last year's ornament video of a Dollar Tree uh, ornaments. Like we made ornaments just from Dollar Tree items. I'll link that up here. That's, this is not the same thing we use. Those were more like little pieces of styrofoam. These actually have little glitter pieces and they're not like little round styrofoam pieces. The other thing we found was this was actually on a separate trip I think we found these and they have they're each individual packets they had four designs we only needed three so we only picked out three so there's little stick on snowflakes for this one and then two different kinds of glitter for a second that came out black but that's actually silver and then that's like a white clear that makes the shiny pink kind of look um, this one has stick on trees with red and then like the Christmas glitter or Christmas color glitter and then this one is different color stars with the glitter actually matches the uh, multiple, col multiple colors of the stars. So again, I'm gonna open this up. I'll read the instructions first. If not, they're honestly for the kids and they're plastic. And I thought this would be something they could keep on their dressers. If it falls off, you know, I don't want them to have to worry about like leaking or breaking. So I may not even add water to these. We may just, I mean, they can still shake them with no water in here and it would be fine and i wanted to be something that they could do without worrying about breaking it and something they could keep in their room for decor because they each have individual dressers and that way they can not have to worry about leaking or breaking or anything like that so we may not do the water you i think these instructions in here are if you did want to add water to them the only thing i think i'm going to use that's not from dollar tree don't move the chair was i i thought about looking dollar tree occasionally has glue dots and they stick to anything and I thought about doing glue dots to stick these little peg people to the plastic pieces but they didn't have any so we're still trying to figure out the glue situation of how we're going to stick them to it but the first thing we're going to do is take these apart double check the instructions and start figuring out what pieces are going to be attached to the lid. Consensus after reading the instructions is this piece right here actually goes here and then once it's all the way in then you put the lid back on we're not doing the liquid there are instructions in those on how to do liquid we're not doing the liquid we're opting to not sew so that the kids can have it in the room without having to worry about mess either way whether you do liquid or not they recommend that on this surface this right here because you know this is meant to seal in water or liquid i think it actually suggests baby oil but anyways we got kind of got through that but it suggests scuffing it up with sandpaper. I think Dollar Tree actually does sell sandpaper. 
Don't know if this one came from there or not, but we're going to scratch off enough surface of the sandpaper so that the hot glue will stick the wood pegs to the pieces. We left all these overnight to let the hot glue dry and they all seem to be sticking. If they didn't put them on directly immediately, even after sanding these, and we sanded these, like we put them on the sandpaper and like swirled them around the sandpaper, both of them were sanded, wiped the extra sand off, you know, or the, you know what I mean, the fragments off. Then we super used the hot glue, but you had to push them down like immediately or they did not stick. So this one's fine. Here's this one. That one may be a bit close. We may have to redo that one. And there's this one. So now literally the next step is just for them to put whatever they're going to put in here for filling. I'm pretty sure they're each gonna put their bag of snow, let them do their glitter, and then we just assemble them back together. These are super easy. They just pop back in and then you screw the lids on. If you wanted to, I mean, these are these fit pretty tight. We had to pry them out. But if you wanted to, we have done um, sensory jars before, and you just super glue the lid on if you wanted to. But I'm not super worried about them like wanting to take them apart because number one, they're a little bit older, and number two, just these stand pretty well. But we're gonna, I'm still worried about that one. But we're gonna try these, put them together, and we'll show you what they look like when they're finished. We actually found that a whole bag of the faux snow was too much for just one snow globe. So everybody dumped half of each of their bags into a sandwich size Ziploc and that seemed to work. This is what hers looks like with the glitter. Did you use all the glitter? No. You left some of that. Did you put any of the red, white, and blue glitter? Or not red, white, and blue. Red and green glitter. This is stickers. Are these stickers? Are your stickers sure. too? She is right. They look like stickers, but they're actually just a really, really thick confetti. I'm trying to put camera where you guys can see. All right, this one's hers. It should just. Yeah. Not even like really a snap, they just fit. And it's hard to pull off, so. And it's extremely hard to pull off. Give it a good shake. <laughs> the avalanche of 2021. <laughs> yeah, they look like they would need a whole more. We may next time need to glue like little wood blocks in there first and then put the people in so you can have enough confetti and it not cover them all the way up. But, let me see it. Pick some out. Yeah, we may pick some out, but. Yep. Yeah, that's how it looks. So we took quite a bit out. I did not account for the fact that these were smaller pieces compared to the rest of this. So I'm thinking next time um, and I mean, there was no way of knowing without going ahead and assembling it. I didn't want to assemble it until we were doing it. But next time I think I'm going to glue wood blocks on the bottom so that we can have more confetti in. But I mean, it's still a fun snow globe. And I love that it's actually, even though it doesn't have water in it, the static is making it stick to the outer edges. But it's still basically what they wanted, right? So the good news is we're going to be able to take the rest of the glitter. They're bagging them up. And we're going to be able to make additional ornaments with them. So 
So that is it for our Dollar Tree Christmas DIY challenge. If you have made a Dollar Tree item, like only items from Dollar Tree, and you wanna add it to our collab uh, playlist, send me a message on Instagram. I will check out your video, and if all the items were from Dollar Tree and it's all Christmas related, I will drop it in the playlist of this collab. Thank you again to Ingrid for co-hosting this with me. I was gonna do it just kind of like on my own, but I like helping out other content creators as well and I just really wanted some extra help on this project. Um, Inger does a lot of DIY projects as well so thank you again Inger for doing this. But that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.